Yo guys, let's talk about how to install Windows 10 on a Chromebook. So the first thing that you need to do is go and open up your Chrome OS settings and enable Linux Beta. Now if you don't see Linux Beta in your Chrome OS settings, that pretty much means your Chromebook does not support the new Linux Beta, also known as Crestani. Don't worry, you can still watch my older video on how to replace Chrome OS with Windows. So after you enable Linux Beta on your Chromebook, you'll have access to Linux Terminal. So the next thing that you need to do is download the Windows 10 ISO file right from Microsoft's website. After you download the file, you see your downloads, and you want to copy and paste it to your Linux folders directory that you should have after you enable Linux Beta. Now, when you transfer it, you might get this error that you don't have enough space. Don't worry, that's actually pretty easy to solve. All you gotta do is go into your Linux developer environment settings and change the allocated size. You want at least 22 gigabytes for Windows. Uh, don't do what I did just now. I did 15, which is way too low. You want at least 22 gigabytes. So just change it to that and resize it and you're good to go. Now retry copying and pasting that ISO to your Linux folder directory and it should work now. So afterwards, go and open up the Linux terminal, and then you want to download and install KVM. KVM is what we're going to use to virtualize Windows 10 on your Chromebook. So just enter this command. I'll have it over my website so that you can copy and paste it. But basically, this just installs the dependencies and everything you need for KVM, and it'll just download and install all the stuff you need. So after that's done, go into your app drawer and the Linux apps folder and you should see an app called Virtual Machine. Go and launch that app. Now finally, we can create a new virtual machine. So go to new, create new virtual machine. Uh, we're gonna use a local image and then select the ISO uh, that you downloaded earlier. That should be in your Linux directory folder. Okay, then allocate however much RAM you want. And as far as storage, Make sure it's set to 21 gigs, or at least that amount that you need for Windows. And that is pretty much it. You can leave everything else default. So when I ask you to connect to the virtual network, you can hit yes. And that's pretty much it. So you should be up and running Windows 10. Honestly, this is not something you would really want to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, especially it being virtualized, it's going to be slow and a little unresponsive and it's just not going to be really useful to do too much of anything other than maybe opening up a web browser or something like that. Also, there are some weird bugs with KVM and a virtualization within uh, Linux beta. For example, the cursor <laughs> is this black dot that doesn't really appear. Um, and also, I had issues where it would frequently just close down the KVM window and I had to go and relaunch it back up. It wouldn't close down the app, but just the window itself. Really weird. So, like I said, this is a little bit more in the proof of concept area, not really something you should do practically, but if you're still interested in trying it, definitely just go and try it out. It's very easy to do, and it's pretty cool. So, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos I post in the future, go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.